Hello everyone, today our topic is about disease of female genital system and breast. So the major genital disease of the females are cervical disease, chronic cervicitis, cervical epithelium dysplasia and carcinoma in situ, cervical carcinoma, diseases of uterus, diseases of ovary, gestational trophoblastic disease and carcinoma of the breast. So here is the columnar epithelium sequamular columnar junction sequamular epithelium transformation zone with two types of the epithelia coexist and the vagina so the etiology of infection bacteria streptococci enterococci staphylococcus and special organism chlamydia gonorrhea and hpv injury hormone disorders estrogen local hemodynamic disorder morphology congestion edema inflammatory infiltration glandular epithelium proliferation sequamous epithelium metaplasia chronic cervicitis classification cervical erosion real erosion squamous epithelial cell necrosis detachment pseudo erosion sequamous epithelium replaced by columnar epithelium cervical glands and cervical polyps so now about the cervical epithelial dysplasia and carcinoma in situ classification cervical epithelium dysplasia precancel lie in the cervical epithelium were replaced by atypical self inserative potentially cervical intraepithelial neoplasma cervical in situ squamous epithelial cells were completely replaced by cells with remarkable atopia without crossing the basement membrane you can see the table about the grating of CIN. Here is the dyspepsia, range of involvement, and the prognosis. You can see the table about the grating of CIN. Sexual activity, HPV, HPV exposure. Then it divides into two paths, low risk HPV and high risk HPV. In low risk HPV, condyloma, and then high CIN. Higher grade CIN invasive cancer metastasis.